as a young adult, I looked on the word power as something very negative. I thought of it as power over someone, when someone that seemed to have more power than I did would try to force me or others to do things they didn't want to do. And then I had an aha moment when I was sitting on the beach at a Silomar many years ago. I was looking at the ocean, because I'm, I'm an Iowa girl by growing up standards, and hadn't been around the ocean. And I was sitting there watching the ocean and the power of the waves, and it just hit me. There is power. That's like our subjective mind. It's power, and it's undirected. Until we direct it, we can't use it in a way that we want to. The ocean is power, and we label it good for surfers, and we label it good for traveling on boats, and we label it bad oftentimes if a cliff or a house comes crashing into the sea. But it just is. By itself, it just is. And it's the same with our own power. As limitless, unrestricted spiritual beings, we have all power. Isn't that scary? I know it is for me, and I have accepted more and more and more power. And it's wonderful because I keep seeing things that I choose show up like that when they used to take a little bit longer. And I'm getting really comfortable with the idea of who I am and the power that I have and being conscious to use it rightly. Because I can also create some stuff I don't want, and definitely I have, and I've done a really good job of it. <laughs> and I appreciate that. Emma says, Emma Curtis Hopkins says, don't put your faith on transient, changing material aspects of the world, but only on the eternal good, which is God. She says, and I've, I mentioned this before, our firmness, our, our commitment to what is good as being the power, power and good are equal here doesn't make good happen. It opens our eyes to see the good that's already here. In a twinkling of an eye, our perception can change, and we see a condition totally changed. Someone can be sick, and like that, they're well. We can have a financial crisis, and boom, like that, it's over. That's how fast it can happen when we use our power. In this class that I will be teaching um, or facilitating in November, we'll look at reclaiming our power, too. Bob Scheinfeld has a technique, not totally unlike treatment, but he says it in his own way, of reclaiming our power, all the power that we've given away to people and conditions and false beliefs. Emma reminds us that we need to use deep feeling when we claim our good, because we have so often used deep feeling in claiming our bad. Use the deep feeling. That adds, adds to the power that we are, claiming all is well. There is no absence of good. My good is here now. No one can keep my good from me. I claim it. I receive it. It is mine, here and now. She also says our whole business in life is to know what is true. So we can enjoy the masks. We can enjoy the costumes that we're wearing or other people are wearing. But in that enjoyment, don't forget who we are. 
in truth. That we are light, that we are power, that we are love, that we are peace, that we are all that we know God and good to be. And if you don't want to use the term God, that's fine. Call it good. Call it good. So are you using your power in ways that are for your good? Are you recognizing, first of all, that you have it and that you are power, unlimited power? I know that once upon a time I thought it would be sacrilegious to claim that I was a God being. I was afraid I would be struck down. I remember that because my sister-in-law was um, in a, a very traditional religion and she and I would have conversations and I, I was pushing the boundaries and I was really afraid I'd be struck down and I finally said, you know, I have to go for it. My, my idea of God is much bigger than what I'm hearing from her. It works for her but it doesn't work for me. And I pushed past those limits and I'm still here. I didn't get struck down. So if you run up against any of those, question them. Or see a practitioner if you need help getting beyond it. We are good. We have an inborn authority that is limitless, that is all love, that is unrestricted. And our intention, or God's intention, if you want to call it that, is for good and greater good. There is no call for struggle or strain. There is ease. That is the intention, and we can move into that as we remember who we are. So notice your costumes and play with them, but always remember who you are in truth. And I invite you to move from the trick stage, tricking yourself, into the treating of yourself to a direct perception, a direct interaction of God, however you call that good. Thank you for being here today. Happy Halloween. Happy All Saints Day. Namaste.